on February 12th, 2019, to justify a detour south to San Francisco on our road trip to Seattle. My friend John and I admittedly <laughs> showed up a few minutes late. We're late! To our dinner reservation at this place called Angler. Very generous welcome from them with a glass of Charles Elmer's carte blanche champagne, but I have to take a moment and acknowledge how beautiful this kitchen looks. I've had the pleasure of experiencing Cezanne a few years ago, but watching the fire and seeing all the ingredients and taxidermy and the hustle and bustle of the front of house with the open kitchen, this place just held so much life, and it was a really welcome change from the sparse or minimally decorated dining room that you might have seen before at other finer dining meals on this channel. Angler is a relatively new place, only being open since 2018, and their San Francisco location is held by Chef Nick Ferreira, who John and I actually worked with at Per Se all those years ago. This cocktail is a tuxedo number three, gin, apricot, and fino sherry. Awesome little sidecar here of all the cutlery we will need, things like black pepper, their own preserved chilies, and hot sauce. I think using such unique service pieces makes this a welcome addition on the table as opposed to being tacky. And even though we didn't use the hot sauce on any of the dishes, it was still a really fun presentation. We opted for their caviar service to start at $150 for 50 grams, and with it being their own private batch cured with barbecue salt, I'm convinced it's one of the better caviar services available for the price. Next to that, Parker House Rolls served with raw cultured butter seasoned with seaweed. And I know what you're thinking, we thought the same thing, and I swear to you they told us to eat it like this. Pull apart the roll, smear the butter, caviar on top, tiny sandwich. And to answer what you're thinking now, yes, it was as soft and as salty and as buttery as it looks. Gift from the kitchen here, big eye tuna with tomato jelly and shiso served with these puffed crackers on the side. It was kind of strange to be eating tomatoes in February, but they actually had a really great flavor, so it's hard to say if these were preserved in some way or not. No complaints on the dish. Antelope tartare here with a sauce made from egg yolks, lettuce next to this with herbs already tucked inside. Make some cups and enjoy. Their winter chicory Caesar salad in between the leaves was that rich and umami forward dressing, breadcrumbs to mimic tiny croutons in every single bite, and a flurry of parmesan over the top. I personally think of Joshua Skeens and abalone in the same vein, so we ordered these baby abalone. Crazy tender, super addicting to eat, and such a unique product that they prepare really, really well here at Angler. Small hunting knife for the next course, because why not? This is their whole roast chicken that they prepare in the style of Peking duck sauce of Carolina mustard. They use the combination of a smoker and the hearth to make this main course truly outstanding. Crispy fried Brussels sprouts on the side. I'm no stranger to this presentation, as well as grilled maitake mushrooms swimming in their fermented hot sauce. I know this looks super weird, but it was actually crispy on the outside, juicy and chewy on the inside, and then the hot sauce had all the twang and aroma that you would expect without the heat, which was crazy to experience. I really, really enjoyed this one. We also got their angler potato, which is sliced, put back together, and then fried, served with a sauce of Sonoma cheeses. This was just stupid delicious. Please order this if you come here. Massive shout out to my friend Amanda for sending us these desserts. Lemon tart, of course, can't go wrong. Definitely one of my favorites. A New Orleans, which is a play on the chicory infused used coffee, ice cream on the bottom, house made whipped cream and granita. But this, this was insane. This is their soft serve sundae. They make a chewy caramel and then pour it hot table side. So it starts to melt the ice cream, but then the cold starts to harden it. And so what starts as cold ice cream and warm caramel sauce turns into sweet cream and chewy caramel. Comment at me down below if you say caramel or caramel. I'm just distracted by this visual and I'm still having dreams about this Sunday. Not including some of those generous gifts from the kitchen. Thank you, Angler. Our total came to $399.08. $50 tip from me brought my total to $249.54. This is definitely not a once a month kind of meal, but if you either can't snag a table at Cezanne or want to experience some of the same preparations and ingredients at a more accessible, semi-accessible, price point, you can expect a really fun atmosphere here. Formal service and just as thoughtful of presentations from Angler, and I completely understand why they're expanding this to other cities. I always love hearing your thoughts down low in the comments. Please get some color on that like button. Thank you so much for your attention. My name is Justin Kana, and I hope you have a good one.